In this video, we are going to explore our network configuration and validate if it works fine. I will start the CentOS machine that we created in the previous video. Let's log in to our machine. So provide the password. I can just quickly change display settings so we have better view. Click on the activities and click on this terminal icon. We have one command called IP address and then show. So click enter. This command provides useful information about current network interface cards or in short NIC. So this one, for example, here, ENPOS3. So this is our real network interface card. There is also a short version of this command. Instead of address show, you can just write IP, A, and then S. So it will give you the same information. This one here, it's called INET. This is our IP address, 10.0.2.15. But what's the problem here? The problem is, in this case, the virtual machine will not be accessible by other computers or IPs in our host network. For example, I'm going to try to connect to this VM from our host operating system using SSH connection. So let me just open my own terminal. This is the Mac terminal that I am using. I will try to connect from this host machine. So let me just check my IP address. Sorry, in Mac I have to use if config. So if we go a bit upper, okay, this is the IP address of my host machine, 92.68.0.101. So this is the IP address and this is the network that I am in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect from this IP address from my host operating system to this VM. So this is the IP address of the VM. So I'm going to use SSH. And then we're going to connect as BugX Academy user. Just type BugX Academy at which IP address we're going to connect to this IP address. So 10.0.2.15. 10 and click enter. It seems it just hangs or freeze here. Let me use the verbose mode. So I'm going to use the option verbose. Okay, as you see that we are trying to connect to this IP address through port 22, which is the default port for SSH protocol. But unfortunately, it just hangs or freeze here. And then probably we are going to get operation timeout. Yes, as I said, we just get operation timeout. What we want is the VM should get IP address from the router, like your host operating system does. What I mean is, let me just show you my host IP. So let's use it if config one more. I'm going to use script. So this is the IP address of my host operating system. And this is the IP which is provided by the router or the HCP server. If the host IP is 192.168.0.101, then guest IP will be 192.168.0.101. Something. So if it is 101, then probably it will be 102 or 103. I'm not sure actually. But it will be definitely in this network. And since the host IP, which is this IP, and then our guest IP, which will be this one, they will be in the same network, and that's why they can communicate with each other. Or guest operating system can be accessed by all IPs or computers 
in the host network. Host network, I mean this network. This is our network. But what we should do in order to get the IP from the router? We're gonna change the network mode to PDG networking. So I'm gonna just power off this machine. What we can do is we can just put it here. And then from the stove, just power off the machine. And let's go to settings. And in the network tab, as you see that it is attached to NAT, but we have to change it to bridge adapter. By the way, here we have different network modes. If you want to get some information about each mode, we can just check the virtual box manual. So in chapter six, there are some information about all the network modes. For example, not attached network address translation, bridge networking, and etc. Let's go back to our virtual box. So we just switch to bridge adapter and I'm gonna click OK. And let's start this machine again. Let's check the IP address one more time. So I'm gonna use IPHS. Okay, nice. We just got our IP. So it is 102. If we check the our host OS IP, IP, sorry, if config. So host OS is 101. And the guest OS is 102. And now if we try to use SSH one more time, just change the IP address. So 192.168.0.102. Click enter. It asks for the password. Just provide the password. Okay, nice. We just connect it to our virtual machine. Let's check the directory. So let's create some file. First of all, let's check here if we have any file. I'm going to use pwd. And if you use lsl, we have folders. We don't have any file. Let's create some file here. Touch test file. And let's check if it is created. Yes, it is created in our virtual machine. So we just validate that our network configuration is OK. And we can connect to our virtual machine from different IPs in the same network. So that's all about this video. I'm going to see you in the next video.